Hey, 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 boys and girls, we're going to know some cowboy big beans. So, I want to play some Empire Total War. I think I'm going to do the main campaign. And I was wanting to be Marco. So, it'd be really hard to try to be an Indian in the These guys, these poor guys. Austria, France, Great Britain. Screw it, let's go Great Britain. I'm gonna get a little bit more ship battles in on this too. Really nice. Really nice. Your first priorities as an island nation should be to ensure you have adequate naval defenses in place as a strong navy is the key to protecting your shores. Beyond that, maintain friendly relations with other Protestant nations, such as the United Provinces, Hanover, Prussia, and Sweden, as the ever-present threats from Catholic France and Spain may require joint action by allies in the near future. In addition to securing your position at home, Click on any area of the radar map to snap the map directly to that area. The plus and minus buttons in the bottom left allow you to zoom to any area. The arrow buttons shift the map view to the other campaign theaters. Ah, there we go. America, India. We don't have any need you do. Oh, sweet. So, I really want to kind of concentrate on America. Got some stuff down there. Got some stuff there. A little bit of land there. Damn, we got a lot of land in America. Okay. Got this poor little place all by himself over here. So, who's around us? There's some engines there. In peace with them. Okay. Back this this panel enables you to view the state of diplomatic relations between nations. Select a nation by clicking on their flag. Their allies, enemies, protectorates, and trading partners are displayed at the bottom of the panel. Use the arrow buttons to toggle the map between display of the selected nation's opinion of their rivals and what those nations think of them. To enter into diplomacy, select a nation from the table on the left 
and press the Open Negotiations button. Their attitude towards you is displayed next to their flag. Now this panel is used for negotiations between nations. Available diplomatic options are listed on the left. Use this option to offer a monetary gift to another nation in order to improve relations between you. State gifts cannot be offered as part of a wider diplomatic deal. They are a unilateral action only. What one nation thinks of another is characterized by diplomatic relations. Very friendly, friendly, indifferent, unfriendly, and hostile. These diplomatic relations are asymmetrical though, so be aware that what your nation thinks of another may not be the same as their views on your own. This tab shows all units available for recruitment. An army without a general can have a brigadier promoted directly from its ranks. Simply select any unit and click on the promotion button to the right of the review. Upgrading the road system within a region, this tab shows all existing buildings in the selected town or city. Mouse over them to see what can yet be constructed. Right click on a picture to see its description. Left click on a building to add it to the queue, and again to remove it. Construction cost is displayed underneath. Construction time is shown in the top left hand corner. Traditionally, the wilds of Russia had a monopoly on the fur trade. But now, other nations have an opportunity to cash in due to their colonial possessions. And your region capital is the central city for control of a region. Empire Total War differs. Planning your construction needs is essential to a successful empire. Buildings of education further the research and acquisition of new technology. Industrial buildings facilitate trade and return income. Barrack troops can be stationed inside a city to provide defense in the event of an attack. Whilst there, they also act as a deterrent for any rebellious tendencies among the population.
God's will be done. I can go no further. All right, here. Oh, this game's so awful. Just did a lot of stuff right. In this game they should have carried on with. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. A fleet without an admiral can have a captain. Sir, your orders? How can I be of service? Goose chase. Not that way. You are mistaken, sir. Ah, so this one you actually have to click in boats. Your Majesty. Agents. Sir! Okay. Hold! Sir! Your orders? Make ready! Hot! There's two different generals. Ports do not just facilitate overseas trade. Upgrading to a dockyard also allows naval vessels to be built. Note that ships can also be ordered to research. That's a pirates. Ah, oh, I did have some I Don't like how zoomed in it is when they're moving. Hello? I'll accept that. Hello, how you doing? Oh, it's boss. Trade route with Ottoman Empire? Yeah, baby. How you doing, LG? Good, good, chillin'. <laughs> ah, it's boss. So they, uh, so gut beaters need more help? Or? Yeah, I was showing them how to get star metal, where to get gold at. Oh, nice. Helping out the noobs. Yeah, um... It seems like you can teach them how to play the game so they might be prospects to take the Periodically, your maybe. government will issue missions for you to undertake. Either that or... Although uh, optional. It can be useful to do them in order to learn yeah. various aspects of gameplay. That or somebody Your first else to work with. Yeah. To begin, simply click like on the relevant message box Rainbow on the left. Love. Click on the missions button in the bottom right of the later. screen to view details of yeah. activities. Oh, a little tipsy. It looks like their guy popped in for a hot minute. Oh, shit. Fail it would probably have fun killing them again. <laughs> Indeed. So we gotta we gotta go blow out um, D nine at the uh, gutter and go take that place back. Georgia. So I guess that'll be something to do tomorrow. I think uh, Hades Defenders is in there. Oh, I was just at the. Uh... Ruins of the old Dabu. Wait, isn't Desert Deserter's Gutter one of our old bases? Yeah, when gods aren't on, that place is next to impossible to raid with the like cancer aids that we got set up. Ooh. So that'll probably be what I'll start on tomorrow. Oof. Don't really want to go to war with France to ensure America's freedom. Ah, here's Georgia. Georgia. Territory. I guess I could do that. Fleet ready. Oh, fleet here. Uh. 
I noticed we had a Yog 3 shrine. So I went over there and grabbed some tenderizers. Oh my god, this thing seems pretty awesome. What's that? So now they learn how to get farm out. What else did they just teach them? <laughs> Upgrade to get ports to dockyards for the ability to construct bigger well, and better fleets. Yeah. Fleets yeah. can also be made stronger There's by merging them together spots. as you would armies. Simply Still, select a fleet and then right click on another because that you wish to, to make, merge with. You know, epic gear without it. And then they didn't know you could get it in like bar and coin form. So I showed them some dungeons they could go to. to Nice. You're humble, sir. Onwards! Gathering supplies! Onwards! Forward! The construction of a farm will increase the growth of the population in a region. As population grows, more towns will appear, enabling construction of a building infrastructure to further strengthen your empire. Wheat, corn, rice, sheep and cattle can all be produced from farms. Yes? This panel is used to research new technologies that will enable your nation to gain advantage over its rivals. To begin, simply select the item you wish to research. The presence of a gentleman or scholar will speed up the process. Oh, I'll talk to you guys later. Later, bro. Have a good night, dude. Sweet dreams. Don't let the bed books buy. Bye. Your orders, your majesty. Your orders, your majesty. Men! Forward!
Lots of people are fighting. This colony has reached its maximum export capacity, despite the region's potential for greater production. Upgrade the port to ensure the cash keeps flowing and the coffers of your empire continue to be filled. Note that agents cannot be recruited as a unit might be. They are automatically spawned. In the case of gentlemen and scholars, the rate of this spawning is dependent on the level of the educational buildings, such as universities, within your empire. For rakes, hashishin and thuggies, the rate of spawning is linked to the level of entertainment buildings, such as taverns within your empire. On our way, Captain. Any orders? Aye, sir. Think of the prize, boys! Think Winning of the a battle prize. isn't just about greater numbers. The balance of units and the commander's ability are essential. In the lower right of the screen is the naval maneuver compass, used for fine-tuning ship orders. The three arrows in its top half will cause your vessel to sail straight ahead, or turn left, or right. The icon in the center of the lower section indicates whether you are in full sail, half sail, or no sail. This can be adjusted up or down with the plus and minus buttons to either side. Naval battles are frequently a series of individual duels between ships, but there is value in maintaining formation and contact with the Admiral for as long as possible. The morale-boosting effect of being close to the flagship can be passed from ship to ship as long as they are within hailing distance of each other.
Clicking on your right or starboard broadside button loads your guns ready to fire. The advancing red band around the button indicates how close you are to being ready. When this is complete, click on the button again to unleash a full broadside. Be aware that the success of this order relies on your own timing. Clicking on your left or port broadside button loads your guns ready to fire. The advancing red band around the button indicates how close you are to being ready. When this is complete, click on the button again to unleash a full broadside. Be aware that for success this order relies on your own timing. This ship is sailing into a headwind, so she is only able to make a slow progress on her current heading. Zigzagging back and forth across the wind helps to improve speed and makes one less vulnerable to enemy fire, whilst the frequent turns required present more firing opportunities. One of your captains has broken off and runs in the face of the enemy, ignoring all your signals. There is still a chance that he will remember his duty, but if he gets too far away, his vessel won't play.
My guys are working, my guys are doing all the things as though they were supposed to. But there's an actual little button that has a hole, like a an open sign and a close sign. And I just pushed open. And I was like, are you serious? Are you freaking serious? In the campaign, it doesn't have an open sign. It just it just plays the game. But in the sandbox where you just open world. Dude, I was really frustrated for so long. I was just like, what am I doing wrong? In the campaign, they're just flooding my thing, and in this stupid sandbox, I can't get one person. Ship's hull has been damaged, so keep an eye on the damage bar beside the ship's hull icon at the bottom of the screen. When the bar is empty, the ship will be utterly destroyed, though she will probably sink well before then. One of my old servers. And I, I was near the location where you put your burn base here. And it looked exactly the same what you did. And I was like, huh. Maybe he's been on the server before. Wait, which server? 1880? Yeah, I made one there. Yeah, I'm on that server, that's my base. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's exactly long, the same. How long have you been away from that server? Here? For a while. We haven't, I haven't played on that one in a long time. Though I keep it refreshed. Because I have a lot of money in that server. Okay. Because I was looking at it, I was like, this looks exactly like Yeah. It, it, it's not as strong, though, I will have to say. Like, the inside on that one doesn't have the archer towers or the archer wall, which I was going to add, but I quit that server. Basically, and seeing as that they can't, they can't get anything out of it anyway. Even if they rate it, it doesn't do anything. But at least you saw what what the top part would look like because the map room fits up there, 
Yeah, I broke into it. Oh, you broke into it? Nice. Could be a Wait, you broke into the map room or the main base? Oh, look at you. Get all the loot? No. You didn't get any loot? Nope. Well, that's a shame. It's okay. What it's name do you go off of? On that server? LG. Oh, are you LG on that And then, and then what happened was, and I blew right into it, five, five guys came, so I had to burn them. <laughs> I was like, I was like terrified of my life. Oh, that was cool. Do you know how many bombs I would take to try to get in there? Seems like nobody broke in because my bed's still there. Lied. Liar. Yeah, it's all fine. Damn it. Let's see. They break down. There. Yeah, it takes a little bit. I mean, it's, it's four doors. And then, and then uh, after you get through the doors, then you have to go through the. Uh, the elevator doors. That's I guess I'll go do some dungeon runs, get some items. Oh, but I can't do that. I gotta go repair my gear. That's right, I don't have any way to repair my gear. I gotta go make a Tafari. Yeah, it already broke, so... I gotta make some Tafari gear.
I'll do you to do you tomorrow. I got a couple of things to do. Oh yeah? You've been learning some techniques? Yeah, I'm gonna find it. We're gonna find this two headed bastard. And then they're garbage?
close defeat. Let's see what we lost. Ah, Battle so statistics are displayed yeah. here, along with a breakdown of the condition of each surviving unit in your army or navy. I have a the button on the right hand side breaks the statistics them? down to a really upper unit good. level. Okay. If you already have a set, that'd be cool. Yeah. Well, not really a few, but I already have my own kit. This is an extra one. Yeah, as long as you have more than one. I'll take where, one. Where would you like to meet? Um, I'm gonna be going to the volcano because I need to make and fix the gear that I have here. Um, and I know that he has at least some things that might be able to do that. Oh yeah, he, Meth has all the stuff needed. I'm also gonna need to farm some aloe so I can make some tea. Oh, so many things. They didn't fix the black dragon spear yet. That's a shame. What's wrong with it? It doesn't give stamina right now. Reef sails. What kind of? Do you want bulk plating? Do you want master uh, um, master armor plating? The even though I tested it, I can get away with the bulk one. Bulk one's still pretty decent. I think it gives seventy-one armor. Instead of 61 armor. But it makes it really heavy. But it works, I think. So you want the bulk one? Okay. Yeah, the bulk one. A very large army or navy spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight. Do you, want, do you know where that space is at? I know where Iros is. I'm not sure about Mets. Aren't they? Do they share or? It's on the way to Iros. Here, I'll come to you. I just ported to the volcano. Let's see. Best game ever. It is pretty good. Better than freaking wow. Thank you. 
Ooh, you're at the white base, aren't you? Um, yeah. I just entered the the red zone. I mean the red light district.
Faith is being lost in your ability to secure victory in the current conflict. Every time a territory is lost, or even a battle, the populace becomes wearier of the war. This is indicated by increased unhappiness. Shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. This panel shows you the information about an admiral working for your nation. His name, position on the map, personality traits, and attributes relating to his military abilities are all listed, along with details of any ancillary characters in his entourage. Further orders. Aye, sir. There we go. Now come get me, little prick. Uh, do not concentrate the construction of military buildings within a single region. Spread out to ensure the availability of troops during an invasion. Yes. 
see the hammers? The two hammers? Ah, there it is. Two more turns there. Have you guys seen Super Dupon? Seen, seen what? Uh, is that name Super Duke? Not that I noticed. Okay, cool. He's sleeping right in front of our house. <laughs> Just like logged off outside? Yeah, with all his gear on and everything. What? <laughs> nice. Jack that it looks shit. like he it looks like he's been killing our thrall. Well, oh, actually, he has a set of our armor. Should I just send him back to the uh, desert? As population growth is slow here, it is recommended that you upgrade farms or bring lower class taxes down. Increasing the food supply and net income of the layman will reduce the infant mortality rate, thereby increasing the population. In order to gain control of a garrisoned and fortified city, it's often necessary to lay siege. During a siege, your troops surround. Following capture of a capital city, it is important to leave an adequate garrison behind to quell unrest until both the population level and any damaged buildings are fully restored. Exempting the region from tax may also be helpful in the short term. The construction of libraries, schools, colleges and universities enables the research of new technologies and ideas that could keep your nation ahead of its rivals. As well as producing gentlemen or scholars for research, these buildings also have the residual effect of educating the masses. However, this might be a bad thing if not carefully managed. People with ideas above their stations can cause unrest or worse. Any orders? Received and understood. Yes, my lord. This panel gives information about how a building's effects work in the game, along with a detailed description of its function. Some buildings allow you to construct other, more advanced ones, so it's worth reading all the information here and checking the building browser. The lists panel gathers together useful information about the armed forces, agents and regions in your possession. As your empire grows in size, these lists will provide a useful reference 
and means of locating individual characters, cities, etc. Oh my god, that only took one hit. I can spot. Uh, the sleeping dude outside our base. I removed oh, all the gear. Yeah, I just I didn't expect him to die with a one hit. You're so mean. But he was going to die anyways because he was in the cold. Colonial plantations provide tradable goods for shipping back to your home region, the quantity of which is dependent on the type of plantation and its building level. The income of a plantation is dependent on the global market price of the goods they produce, which is in turn dependent on supply and demand across all nations. I should have once said it was a long time ago. <laughs>
a victory. Demolish them. Hopefully I get most of my food back. Your nation could greatly increase its trade income by sending merchant ships known as India Men to other continents. There are special trade theaters off the coasts of Africa, South America, and the East Indies. Merchant ships are constructed at trade ports. Once built, simply sail them to a trade theater to begin. Forward for crown and country! Under sail. Sail. Ah, sail. Further orders. Set sail. Jump to it and look lightly. Underway Ready. orders. March. Nice. Ship's orders received. Already at war. The better see for Christians. In position. It is possible to take a fort or city without risking a pitched battle. A patient general can throttle the fight out of the defenders by laying siege for several turns. This is time-consuming, but eventually hunger or an angry populace will force a surrender. Mines facilitate the harvesting of underground resources, such as gold, silver, iron, and precious gems, for both manufacturing and trade purposes. When all nations but one know about a new technology or idea, it becomes common knowledge. A nation lagging behind will eventually find out what everyone else knows, although it may be too late to use the information to their advantage. I don't understand what happened. 
hurts. That's very smart. So cool. There has been an eruption of national pride in your home region following your victories on the field of battle. Every time a battle is won, or a territory conquered, the populace become more fervent in their support of the war. This is indicated by increased okay, happiness. Night, night, night. Night. The Lord! Down the call to battle! Strength and honor! Swarm! Orders, Captain! You don't even have to fight anybody yet. Yeah, I'm steamed it. Okay. One more and they're white. Should I save that? Yeah, let's save that. Attack, move into here, take all in. Move into here, take all in. And we'll be posed to take in France. The construction of industrial centers will steer your empire from subsistence to wealth and affluence for many. However, industrialization comes at a price. The lower orders may become unhappy with the pace of change, as the introduction of new technology quickly forces them from the land into modern manufactories. Once researched, a technology can be offered to another nation as part of a diplomatic deal. A technology can be demanded as long as the other nation has already researched it. This option is used to broker trade agreements. Once agreed, a trade route, a new trade route has been opened between the ports of your home region and those of your trading partner. Guard it well, as your enemies will attempt to raid it, potentially ruining your economy.
long-standing trade partners develop a healthy respect for each other, reflected by a gradual improvement in diplomatic relations and increased income from trade routes over the life of your agreement. Military access is a symbol of trust between two nations and can be granted for a limited or indefinite time using the checkboxes provided. Requests for access between allied nations are more likely to be approved. Playing a multiplayer game or a single player game? Uh, single player. But uh, it's a total war game. So. You played any of the total war games? I played the MMO one a while back, and I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't into it. So. Mm hmm. It was like Total War 4000, or I don't know, some MMO. Oh, okay. This is Empire Total War set in like the early 1700s. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Wait, Total War, never mind. Total. Yes. I played the romance Still game of Total War. Or War. That's right. I thought you meant Warhammer. No, no, no. Like Empire Total War, Rome Total War. They have that Warhammer yeah. 42 now. Yeah, I played the Total War Three Kingdoms, which, you know, yeah, I have, that's the only one good. I haven't bought because I've heard so many kind of bad reviews about it. Um, the battle system is very good, but it's not a romance game. That's probably why the people are disappointed. Because yeah. Romance of the Three Kingdoms was a very political game, and that game isn't any political. Huh? It's just like a very uh, forward-based campaign of just absolute combat. Now, the combat is great, especially because it was made by Total War, and Total War knows how to make combat games. But uh, when it comes to the story, it's just, eh. Really? Nobody cares. But if you're just interested in tactician war game, yeah, it's awesome. But I went in there thinking that it was political with tactical warfare. And oh, yeah. I was not ready for a just full plane tactic warfare. So I wasn't into it. Because I love Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it was, it's really good. I have to give it a 
even try then. Well, like I said, if you're into the the whole strategic warfare, then yeah, it's good. and girls that'll do it there thanks for watching that was a long stream